Well, howdy, y'all. My name is James Westerfield, and I am a vocologist and voice teacher here in Nashville, Tennessee, good old Music City, USA. And I am starting a series of vlogs that will run us through how to demystify the vocal experience. The first thing that I'm going to talk about today is how to find a voice teacher that fits the needs of your goals and your ambitions. The first step in doing this is a little bit of self-reflection because voice lessons are there to help you achieve something better, but they don't do the work for you. So one of the first things you need to figure out with yourself is your own commitment level. Are you willing to put in the time and effort that it takes to get the most results out of voice lessons? It's kind of like going to the gym. You can't expect a lot of really good results if you're only going to go once a week. You're going to have to actually take what you learn in your voice lesson and apply it between three and six times a week for best results. The next thing when you're self-reflecting is to talk about your goals. What are your goals? Are you an amateur who just wants to learn more about the voice and to get a little better at singing? Are you an aspiring professional who is serious to take your music and your abilities to the absolute next level, which those things take different types of voice teachers. And thirdly, what is your budget? If you can't afford high dollar lessons that can range hundreds of dollars per hour, you may need to figure out what you can afford on a long term scale because as I said before vocal progress takes a lot of time it's just not something that's going to happen overnight and you're not going to learn the basics that you need in five voice lessons it's going to take months if not years to make good adequate progress the next step in trying to find what type of voice teacher will work best for you is understanding the difference in the types of voice teachers you have a voice teacher, a vocal coach, or someone like me who's a vocologist. Now, those terms sometimes are thrown about as if they're interchangeable, and they are not. And anyone who tells you that they are the same doesn't know what they're talking about. A voice teacher is one who specializes in technique training. They're the ones who help you build a better instrument. They're the ones who help you learn how to use things like vocal support and breath pressure management and learn about all of the weird things like vibrato and how to do whistle tones and all of these long drawn out processes that take time to learn. A vocal coach is someone who specializes in a specific area of music such as style or diction or language training. A lot of coaches are pianists who have studied a lot about vocal literature, about diction, about the voice science and how you enunciate things so that they take you from what your teacher has taught you and just polish your finished product even more so it's the absolute best it can be. Some voice teachers do a little bit of coaching and some voice coaches do a little bit of teaching, but they really are separate fields of vocal study and should probably stay in their own lane. I am much like a mushroom and that I'm a vocologist, which is like a voice teacher on steroids. I have extra medical training and learning how to prevent vocal damage how to repair vocal damage if it happens, and when we need to send you to a doctor to get something looked at. So you need to figure out what it is that you need at the moment in your musical vocal career. It may be that you need a teacher and a coach. Most of us professional singers have both. Depending on what we are trying to accomplish with our concerts or recitals coming up, we may see two people a week. We may go to our voice teacher for our technical instruction and then go see a vocal coach later to make sure that our music is musically the best that it can be or if we're singing in a language that isn't our primary language so it sounds as close to authentic as possible. After you've figured out what type of voice teacher you need at the moment, then it's time to do the research into teachers. 
the internet makes it fairly easy and accessible to find out who your teacher has sung with, with whom they've worked, and what their credentials may be. On the topic of credentials, fancy pieces of paper, some of us voice teachers have bachelor's, master's, postgraduate, and or doctorate work in how to teach the voice, but those don't always give you a good indication of how successful of a teacher that person is. Looking at my professional resume as a performer, one can see that I have sung all over Europe, all over the United States. I've sung as a soloist in many places with orchestras, with choirs. I've sung as a background vocalist here in the studios at Nashville. There's all sorts of ways that you can look at someone's credentials and get a false sense of security that because they're a good performer that they can pass that on to you. That's not usually even the case. Teaching and performing are two separate skills and art forms entirely. So what you should look for are the teacher's credentials and what their students have succeeded. Have their students performed big places? Are their students actively performing now? What types of ways have their students shown success? I'll take myself as an example again. I have worked with professional opera singers who have sung on the stages of the Chicago Lyric Opera, the Nashville Opera, even some with the Metropolitan Opera in New York. I've also had students have multiple lead roles in several musical theater productions locally and regionally. I have worked with Grammy Award winning artists. I have worked with Dove nominee artists. I have had students that have gotten in the best pre-college programs and groups in town, such as the Tennessee All-State Choirs, the Nashville, what used to be the Nashville Youth Symphony, now the Curb Youth Symphony, and I have had students in total amass over half a million dollars in scholarships. These are things you should look for when trying to find a teacher. What have their students done? Let's run through this process of finding a voice teacher again, just a little bit quicker. First, you need to do your own self-reflection. What is your commitment level? What goals do you have? And what is your budget? Then, figure out what type of voice teacher you need. Do you need a voice teacher to help you build your technique? Do you need a vocal coach to help you with your musicality and artistry? Or do you need someone to help that rasp go away? After that, Research your teacher. Figure out not only what they've done and what credentials they have, but also find out what their students have done. Because it doesn't matter how well they perform if they can't translate that into your own success. And finally, go out and have fun learning how to sing. It is a wonderful, wonderful skill to have, and it brings people much joy to do and to experience. So I hope this has been informative to y'all and I look forward to seeing any comments or suggestions or questions that you may have on how the voice works that I can cover in future videos. So if you don't mind, follow me on Facebook. It's at Westerfield Music or send me an email at james at jameswesterfield.com. I look forward to seeing you all soon and happy note hunting.